So today we're going to go over counting money, especially counting coins we're going to be looking at today. There's going to be several different coins. They have lots of different values. Some of these you might already know, some you might have never seen before. We're going to take a look at each kind. The first kind we're going to look at is the penny. The penny is copper colored. It's got a picture of Abe Lincoln on it. It's worth one cent. That's one one hundredth of a dollar. So I'm going to put that over here next to penny. That's how you spell penny. That is a penny. And it's worth one cent. Sometimes they put the cent sign after it. Other times you'll see it with the dollar sign. And then 0 0.01 is a penny. Any of those would be the value of a penny. We count that as one. Next highest coin is the nickel. Nickel is silver colored. It's got a picture of Thomas Jefferson on it. And that is worth five cents. So you'll see that either as five cents or dollar sign zero dollars point zero five cents. Next up, if you get two nickels, you get a dime. Now it's kind of weird because the dime is smaller than the nickel if you see them next to each other, but it's worth more. Now the dime is worth ten cents. Sometimes you'll see that written as dollar sign zero dollars point one oh point one one tenth of a dime. Moving up, we get the quarter. Now quarter means one fourth, and this is worth one fourth of a dollar. So you'll either see it as twenty five cents or dollar sign zero point two five. Those are the most common coins you see. You don't see any others all that frequently, but there are several others. First one is the half dollar. The fifty cent piece you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the quarter if you put them next to each other and that has President Kennedy on it. I didn't tell you the dime has Franklin Roosevelt, he was president, and the quarter has President George Washington on it. That's President John F. Kennedy on the half dollar. And as you might imagine, a half of a dollar is 50 cents or dollar sign 0 0.50. Then there's the dollar coin. The most common dollar coin that you see nowadays is gold colored and they either have a president on it uh, before the presidents they did Sacagawea, the Native American. Those are the most common that you see. And that is one dollar. You can add the point zero, but you don't need it. One dollar. Before that they made larger dollar coins. That has President Eisenhower on it. That is the same value as the gold dollar. Those you might hear called silver dollars. Both worth one dollar. Now when we count coins, it's usually easiest to start from the highest denomination, the highest value. So let's just say I have a bunch of coins here. I'm not even going to see how many they are. I just have a bunch of coins. So I'm going to separate them into quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. And I'm just going to count starting from the highest. So we know the quarter is 25. Another quarter is 50. 50 plus 10 is 60. 65, 70, 71, 72. I would have 72 cents there. Um, counting dimes is easy because you're just counting by tens. Counting nickels is easy because you're counting by fives. Counting by pennies is easy because you're counting by ones. Quarters can be tricky, but you only have to get to a dollar and then it starts over again. So all you got to remember is 25, 50, 75, a dollar. You can sing it. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. If you remember that, you'll always be okay counting quarters. Uh, let's count some more here. I'm going to make my pile of change a little bit bigger. And let's see, let's put in the 50 cent piece there too. 
All right, so I have my 50 cent piece, so that's my largest, so I'm going to start with 50. I don't have any quarters here, so I'm going to skip it. A dime would be 60, 70, now I'm on nickels, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 cents. So when you're doing your sheet, that's what they're going to ask you to do, is count on like that, starting with the highest value and counting on using your lower and lower volume or uh, values. Let me know if you have any trouble. And good luck.